and these Frankenbriggs engines are hard on couplings. That's the results. See the shavings down there on the wood? It uh, tore the plastic in my coupling up. See it sticking out there? Show it from this side here. Basically the plastics. The plastics pooched. In all fairness though, I did mess up the machining on this particular coupling. But, uh, anyway, she, she ran long enough to get hot enough that I burned myself on this muffler. Leaning over for the coupling there. Real, uh, glad I made this, uh, sheet metal, uh, coupling guard there. I think it saved my bacon on that one. I'll be, uh, be making, uh, more when I, uh, do the Frankenbriggs 4 again with the chain couplings on it too. You know, you gotta think about safety. I didn't really think the couplings on it would uh, fly apart like they did on the, the when we got the Frankenbriggs running there uh, in the other videos. A little better view of the setup here maybe. So this thing it's got kind of a funny firing order to it. It's a 1-2 and then it skips. So, uh, see, uh, it's using uh, this plug wire and then this plug wire, and then it skips two. So, you really only have two choices with a two cylinder uh, one, two, or two, one. It amounts to the same thing, but since it's a four cycle, you, uh, you can have them evenly spaced. Uh, but in this case, it isn't. It fires one, and then it fires two, and then it skips two, um, you know, like dead strokes, one full crankshaft turn then uh, fires one two again so anyway at least I got a half decent run out of it there so I'm gonna pull it apart now and uh, I will uh, work on uh, assembling the Frankenbridge 4 again get it going with uh, chain couplings so hope you hope you enjoyed the little run we had of it there so we'll catch you later